Hello and welcome to the Jomez Pro Final 9 in St. Louis, Missouri. We are at Wilmore Park and I am joined by Zachariah Johnson. Zach, thanks for joining me today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Yeah, so you're kind of a, a local to the area, the local pro, some might say. Um, so yeah, we appreciate you getting on. I know you weren't here for this day, but yeah. definitely wanted to have you in. And I know you know some of these guys that we're going to be seeing, and you obviously know the course very well. So uh, yeah, so just talk a super. What, what do you? We've got hole number one. I know it's not the typical. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hole number one, yeah. but this is the first hole of the final nine. So hole number one would be original 18. Um, they have it in the far right position. It's really good if you have a long stretch sidearm. Or the common play for most right-hand, backhand players is a long turnover. Mm -hmm. um, usually the wind's a pretty good factor out at uh, Wilmore Park. It's kind of open, city park. You have a couple mature trees and stuff like that. But um, wind is definitely a factor out there. So yeah, first up we have Neil Brown. Neil's a local legend in the St. Louis uh, crowd. He's been a disc golfer for many of years. He's, he's kind of a frisbee boy. He is a good way to explain him. He just truly enjoys playing and enjoys being out there. Awesome. Well, yeah, he had a pretty pretty good start there. He's probably just right out, right inside the circle. And here we have Mike Oliveros. Mike is known for his power. He throws a lot of hard shots. Um, there's a lot of overstable right, plastic Simon, for sure. Bruce, uh, yes. <laughs> and oh, Tom Simon, third on the tee. I would say Tom is known as a crafty player out there. He looks like he puts a good drive up there, maybe in jump putt range. Yeah, about pin high, just just outside the circle on the left. Uh, Brandon Monroe, St. Louis, Maryland Heights. Brandon is an up and comer on the scene. Uh, typically plays uh, am, but definitely has a lot of good shots. Nice flat rip there. Yeah, he got it to flex pretty good and just got it snuck it underneath the trees yeah, like you want to do. Definitely be on the putting green there. And our wild card, this was uh, number five, the raffle winner, Tom Wilson. Mr. Tom. Going to Heiser playing it safe, making sure yeah. he isn't challenging the water there. Yeah, he looks like he's got a good amount of power as well. Yeah, absolutely. We got Mike for his up shot. He kind of put it in the ground a little sooner than he wanted to, but a good solid up shot for his par. Yeah, should be easy tapping. About the same play there for Tom. Yeah, nice solid up shots from those guys. Ooh, Ooh probably just a little first, first, uh, first little jitters. jitters. <laughs> yep, absolutely. We've all been there. <laughs> Neil just tossing it in. Nice. Great putt. Man. He's having a great time. Look at him. He's Absolutely. just out here having fun. Now these baskets, these are Gateway Titans, is that correct? Absolutely. They're actually pretty good catching baskets. I really like these newer baskets. Really yeah. Nice. We, uh, I'd never seen uh, Titans before yeah. until we came to this course, and I really liked them. So they're pretty heavy in the chains, but once they get worked in real well, they catch nicely. Awesome. Ooh, oh. looks like he's going to leave it a little outside right and dribble out there. Uh, now he's just looking at tapping in his four. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but we did that. We did see Brandon get the birdie as well. Nice. And these guys are cleaning up their pars. <laughs> looks like it was a really nice day out there that evening. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't bad at all. We had great weather all day. And like you said, just a tad bit windy, but it's not, yeah. not bad at all. It's uh, definitely manageable. Absolutely. So yeah, no, this is the second hole of the final nine, and I believe we went original one to hole two's basket. Absolutely. We just flew right by it, and mm -hmm. we're doing skip a hole here for this one. So this is going to be a really fun safari layout for anybody who has a big roller or something along those lines. Uh-huh. Um, kind of make me wish I was there playing that. It looks really fun, <laughs> really enticing. Wilmore Park is just a, such a beautiful, well-maintained city park. Yeah, isn't it? I think I heard him say this is... Is it the only course inside of St. Louis City Absolutely. Limits? 
Yeah, so St. St. Louis City Limits is the only one that has a park there. Wow. Well. That's crazy because that's such a big city, a big area. So Yeah. We have a lot of them out in the outliers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it's tough to get mm -hmm. a lot of courses like... Put into uh, in like you said inside yeah. the inside the city yeah. itself. There's limited options, you know. There's there's only a few parks, and then it's hard to get space in there. Yeah. Well, they but, did a great job with this one. Looks like a couple good drives right off the bat. Mike's gonna go big roller here. This is what I would try to do. Mm -hmm. Cover a lot of distance. Yeah. Great shot. It, it's it, that is an amazing shot, but wow. it also is you have a lot of room for error. Absolutely. Because there's R O B mm -hmm. here on the far left side mm -hmm. mark, but you would have to have a pretty bad yeah. roll to get away yeah. from you. Absolutely. That was a well played shot there. Yeah. Oh, look out. Tom's gonna try to Look at that. <laughs> I was behind that tree. He almost got me. Yeah, I he, barely got on the He was aiming for you. I, I typically go for the guy in the fairway too, but uh -huh. you know, you're a little <laughs> off the fairway there. Nice. Looks like Tom's gonna throw a Glow Valkyrie. Really? To be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if little, I can remember his bag well. Yeah, yeah, a little over a little too much, but that roll yeah. was not bad. Put yeah. him right there and back in the middle. Filtered him right back to the middle. Should be in a good position to attack the green there. So the other Tom has to throw another drive <laughs> up and over the hill and then back. Yeah, down. that's tough. It's blind. It's yeah. still blind. You can't see Ooh. the basket at all. But challenging that OB on the left side, but it'll yeah. be safe. Could make for a tricky upshot with yeah. all the trees in the way. Especially with that laid down tree, which is not there anymore. They oh, they it moved it, since, huh? But, yeah. So here we got but, Neil. Yeah. What do you think he's throwing? What kind of plastic does he throw? I think he throws there? a champion boss there. He, he has an array of bosses that he really likes. Nice. So, um, he lays down another good shot, you know. For yeah. Him. I mean, he could be set up for birdie, considering we consider yeah. this a par five. Absolutely. So. Perfect. Brandon throwing one a little low, but still set up in good position. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely like how they did this this little layout. Red Safari right here. It, it's such a cool... I mean, I played both of the holes originally, but I kind of yeah. liked this one. It was blind, but yeah. you got to get over the hill, and, definitely and then makes, you got a nice big bomber back down. Absolutely. Makes for a good series of shots. I like it when it takes more than one good shot. On yeah. The Mike throwing from his big roller there. Oh, pulls it a little inside uh, and kisses the tree. Yeah, I think that went over there in the down tree somewhere. Well, it didn't go OB. That's nice. Oh. Kind of pinched off over there with all the stuff. Oh, sneaks over there. <laughs> <laughs> Good position there. We're easy up. And we had some people you can see in the back there on the left. Yeah. Some people kind of on like a family reunion or picnic or something yeah. started joining and walking with us for a little bit so that was cool we'll be, yeah. you know they, they probably didn't know a whole lot about disc golf so that's the point you know we like yeah. to get people that absolutely <laughs> kind of yeah. didn't have a clue so that's pretty cool mike put a good up shot on the basket there after yeah the, hitting the tree another great up shot there brandon hits the yeah. pole on his that's pretty solid nice little side arm smooth Neil throwing his little frisbee shot. Nice. I like Great that. Up. I like the yeah. spin he puts Absolutely. on it. Nose up, mm -hmm. so it kind of got under that low ceiling and gave it a chance. Reminds me of a slightly different version of Michael Johansson in a way. <laughs> the way his style of play. Yeah. Looks like he's going to do the lay easy layup for the yeah. drop-in putt there. Oh, oh, great putt. And he earned himself a slow miss. Nice putt there, or Tom. The, look at that. Just yes, elevator sir. right from the top. Great putt there. Looked like it was just outside the circle, maybe. <laughs> yep. Solid putt. And there's Neil giving a high five. He's... Mike dropping in his putt. Go, Bird. Mike. Nice birdie there, Mike, off the big roller. Also, Neil dropping in his easy birdie. Yep, making it look easy. Mm -hmm. He carved the fairway with a couple of nice drives. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so the three birdies, like Tom with the eagle. Nice, Tom. And then Tom Wilson with his par. Moving on to hole three. That's interesting. Yeah, they I they did it. it. They got a little creative with this, yes. but you can see we're doing this off the dock over the water. Beautiful. And then up here to what 
hole is this originally? This What's would be basket? hole eight, I believe. Okay, nestled here in the trees. Yes, yes, that would be yeah. hole eight in long position. Yeah, so these guys have their work cut out for them because you got to clear the water before you do anything. Absolutely. This looks <laughs> like a... F I've done this shot, actually, but I've uh -huh. played to hole nine. Yeah, so. yeah. We kind of were debating, and so... Yeah. I like the hole eight idea. It's kind of like a more of a two-shot hole. Hole nine was more of a chip shot after the drive. Definitely. Good drive there by Tom. Yeah, nice and easy with the hyzer just to get himself out in the open. There we go, Neil. Neil throwing a nice hyzer flip. He's flat. Just barely. There we go. Nice sidewalk skip and open. <laughs> Gallery going crazy there yeah. in the background. <laughs> Hands up and off. Brandon with a nice pool. Oh, nice. He yes. likes that, really. If things stay out of the trees, he's good. Oh, Ooh. that's just some bad tree there at the end. Yeah. Stops him a little short on his drive. Yep. I like how Brandon doesn't take a huge run up. Just yeah. keeps it nice and simple. Yeah, it's pretty cool how much... It shows you how you can still generate quite a bit of power. Look at that. He's almost going for the roller. <laughs> yeah, Mike You know, Mike really likes to power his shots, and um, sometimes he can get a little wild, but sometimes he puts down some of the best shots you'll ever see. So it's really interesting to watch him. Awesome. Tom's just going to throw a flat hyzer across. Oh, yeah. Beating the tree. Solid play. Nice and easy. Safe. Brandon's going to have a tricky upshot here. Looks like a turnaround, patent pending style. Yeah. Yeah, he got a little yeah. over on it, a little much. But. That's one of my uh, shots I need to work on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough shot. He'll throw in his second shot. Looks like he has a little nose up on it. Yeah, kind of dumped out a little early, but he's up there. Absolutely. Yeah. He'll have a run at it at least. Run at an eagle, yeah. Left a little nose up, but uh, definitely easy birdie, hopefully. Ooh, up and over. Up and over for Tom. Looks like that glow Valkyrie again, if I can <laughs> recall correctly. Nice play. Should be in good position to attack the hole from there. Mm -hmm. Might go, gonna go with the big forehand here. Looks like a glow fiber. Could be wrong, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, catches the tree. the tree. Bad break there. Looks like if he got under it, he had a chance. Brandon up and over. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Great forehand there from Brandon. We put him in a good putting right there. That'll definitely be a Mike, gator. There you go, up and over again. Yep. Shouldn't have it a putt is. from under the tree there. I do for like sure. this design, though, how the basket's protected mm -hmm. by the trees. Yeah, Wilmore was actually my favorite practice course. Oh, oh wow. Great forehand putt from Neil. Look at that, with the nice. ball putt for the eagle. Absolutely. What a great throw in. Look at him. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. Nicely done. There's another one of those frisbee yeah. throws. Yep, a little absolutely. Flick. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Tom going flashing. He's it. inspired by. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at that. Neil's just like leaving his disc in there for everyone just to, just as a reminder. Yep. Marking his territory in a way, huh? <laughs> oh, a little high left for me. Yeah, it's like. Can't hit it that, that high with those chains being a little stiffer and mm -hmm. expect it to stick, unfortunately. I believe that was a, a wizard that Neil was flick putting. That's awesome. Oh, oh wow. Brandon not taking his time to yeah, set up there, maybe. Hit a little right. That one leak away, maybe. Yeah, it's actually pretty unusually windy. Uh, typically, on any given day out there, there's a, at least 10 mile an hour wind, and it looks like there's barely enough to blow the leaves on the tree there. <laughs> so, Guess we caught them on a good yeah, day. Yeah, that was a good day out at Wilmore <laughs> Park, because usually I go out there for my wind practice, for sure. Yeah. All right, Neil with the eagle. Great. Nice throw in. Great and throw the, in And the toms with the birdies. Tom squared with the birds. <laughs> 
Here we go. Walk to hole four, the final nine. I believe we're going to do another skip a hole. So mm -hmm. this is hole nine's tee to hole ten's basket. Absolutely. So what's going to be crucial here is a good drive off the box to set up for a really big placement shot up and over the hill. Uh-huh. Yeah, this one's yeah. not easy either. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of distance on this shot. Looks like Neil's gonna go sidearm off the box. You gotta be careful to not put it right behind hole nine's basket for your Absolute. next shot. Yep. Get a black ace on the way. You know, that might actually be a glow katana since I was sitting there saying Valkyrie the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure he'll let us know. He'll, oh, yeah. he'll, he'll text you as soon as it comes He'll let me know as soon as it goes out, for sure. I, it probably is a katana. I'm going to eat my own words now. <laughs> oh, what a nice rip. Great pull there. You can keep there. it from dumping out to that OB sidewalk. He's okay. He's nice. safe there. Good pull there from Tom. And it's not a bad place to be down there, either, because it's kind of open. Good and flat. Not up on the hill. Ooh. Oh, man. Trying to put a good pull on it, but it was just a little offline and caught that tree on the way through. It looks like it would have gone a really long ways if he stayed clean. Yeah. Mike's going to go big sidearm. Crushed. Wow. Great get pull. Through, get through. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good spot to be on the other side of the hill looking at a nice, fairly open shot to the basket. He'll be in perfect placement for an upshot. Neil running down the hill with tough footing. Yeah, that's tough. Looks like it helped keep it lower. It's hard running downhill for sure. Yeah. Tom went off the close to that basket. <laughs> Tom just playing the course he knows. Look so he that. played the layup shot to the basket and then a great upshot. Very nice. Missed every tree. Perfect placement. We're going to go on sidearm. Looks like it came out a little high right, catching yeah. a tree. Good pull as long as it can stay clean. Should set, nice. should set up nicely. Yeah. These guys are landing typically where most drives would land off of tee box 10. So it's yeah. gonna should be a pretty routine shot of what they're normally used to there. Mm -hmm. Off of hole 10. Um, sets up nicely for a sidearm or, or backhand turnover. Yeah, he's got so much power on that sidearm. It's, it's cool to watch. Absolutely. I wonder what he's throwing. They're pretty, some pretty stable discs when he does that. Typically destroyers, okay. if I know Mike pretty well, he has an array of destroyers. Nice. Um, he relies on Firebirds and Maxes and stuff like that, too. Neil's going. Oh, wow. Big flick. That was beautiful. Great shot. Flex it all the way down there. Nice. Came in nicely. Should be set up for a nice... Day long. A little low, but... Still have a look at it. Yep. Around the tree there. Looks like he let it go a little Ooh, flat. A little deep. Yep. Maybe a harp there. Tom with a nice up shot. Solid. Sit. Yep. Great up shot yeah, there. For being downhill on that little fast yeah. green, uh, got it to sit pretty good. Absolutely. Like, oh, catches <laughs> the pole on the way through from the short position. Jeez. Tough break there. Running it. Oh. oh Cut it off the cage. Almost gets up and down anyways. <laughs> Unlucky break there for yeah. my go. Tom leaving a little high left. Great putt. Oh, very Great. nice. A little slow mez action. Nice. Look at that. Snuck it in Getting left. Getting in there. Great putt, Brandon. Ooh, Neil yeah, leaving it a little beach. short for his eagle look yeah. again. 
That's your favorite. Yeah. That's your favorite. <clears throat> Come on, Tom. If I was in that group, I'd say stroke is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> nice birdie there, Tom. Good up shot. Might go with a tap in par, I believe. This should be for yes, par as par, well. Par as well. All right. Well, that was uh, <laughs> those guys made the most of that hole. Everybody but Tom Wilson with the par. Absolutely. Looks like we're gonna have original hole 11 here. Yep, original hole 11 for our fifth hole. Great, so usually a hyzer flip to turnover is the best shot for the placement to get out to that pine tree. This is actually a very, very tough hole. As you get farther down the fairway, you can see it gets pinched in by the uh, sidewalks there. Mm -hmm. OB is a big factor, of course, as you get closer. So. Yeah, definitely, I remember it plays a li little fast down there by the by the basket, so you gotta be careful with skips and yeah. Is it bottlenecks down there? Really, I would say the crucial part is kind of the drive. If you got to get yourself in position to shoot down that tunnel there. Mm -hmm. If you have a power sidearm, you can maybe go with that. But a lot of a lot of players are going to go uh, turn over the shot. You know, throwing one, just not getting to bend over quite all the way. Yeah, but he's out there in, in the good open, position. Like, yeah. Away from any trees, yeah, oh, yeah. like you no. say, just get down there. All these guys are in great position. I'm... Oh yeah, I definitely say that's a glow katana. I can see the stamp now. I'm yep. sure. And the he, rim looks a little he goes. Tom, Tom gets one to break over as I'm talking about. He ends up in a little bit better position there. Nice. On the inside. Brandon let one go a little low there. Yeah, he wanted it. He wanted to rip it. And it just... Let's go go for the side on the power side on here. Hmm. Ooh, a little low. Another one. Good speed, just didn't have the height there. Yeah. I'd really like to see what that dude would carry out. Yeah, that would probably been the furthest off the tee. Looks like he's getting it to hold nicely. Oh, nice. Brandon with long, slow turnover. Beautiful shot from Brandon there. Yeah. That's a very tough executed shot. He's putting it right by our short pin. He would have a putt at the short pin there. And Mike going high. Turnover shot. I think that stays in. I don't think it went that far right. Yeah, it looks like he turned it over a little much. But yeah. Should play. Neil playing for the sidearm, hopefully staying safe there. Nice. Neil. Great shot by Neil. Wow. Pulling one up and over. Oh, the tree got it. That was a nice looking turnover shot. Absolutely. It was coming over nicely. Still going to be in good position, but cut him down a little short on distance. Ooh. Nice, actually. Tricked me. He threw roller. Wow. Big time shot here. Mm, curls away from OB. And that is a great spot to be right there in the middle as it gets down a little sketchy down there in the bottleneck. It's a nicely executed roller there by Tom. Got the other Tom pulling a turnover. Trees. Oh, nice. Beautiful nicely shot. Done. What a shot. Great shot there, Tom. Hold it in tight there along the line with the trees. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh -oh, turns it over. Come back. Oh. Uh, it's going to be close. Going to have to make a group decision there. <laughs> Mike with the sidearm. Should be within a uh, jump putt range or so. You're looking right down the side off, sidewalk with a sidearm here. Yeah, that's a good spot to be if you want to flick it. Yeah. Throws it nice and safe. Should have some type of putt at it. Nice easy up shot. Nice beautiful up shot. Tom is very crafty. He spins the disc well and, and he's very accurate typically.
Best good in the woods. Oh, Neil leaving it a little high. Maybe anticipating a little drop or something. Yeah. Mike with a good putt. Very nice birdie. Must have been safe on the second shot. Yeah, got the birdie. Yeah. And it looks like Brandon was safe as well because he's playing nice. right where the disc is. Nice. Brandon sneaks one wow. in there. So he gets barely gets back in bounds and is able to get the bird from there. Capitalizes on the putt there. Nice. Good putt, Brandon. It was a nicely executed birdie wow, by Tom. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't anything spectacular, yeah. but he just kind of got down there and we weren't really... <laughs> yeah. Everyone else is going all over the place. He just kind of had... That last shot was crucial. He, he put it right there next to the basket. Was... Definitely. And uh, Neil with the par put off the knee. And another bird. Nice, Tom. Made that look easy, didn't yeah, he? he? Carved it up nicely with exactly. a couple good drives and a nice easy up shot. Yeah, so everyone but Neil with the bird on our fifth hole. Moving on to hole number six, which I believe is hole 11? No, 12. 12. Yeah, this will be hole 12. 12. It's one of the shorter holes on the course, if not the shortest. Correct? Yeah, so this is a pretty picturesque hole. Um, beautiful tree, of course. Uh, one of the bigger ones on the premises that reaches out like that. Yeah, it's a... It's a really, really cool looking tree. I like trees like this that kind of create a canopy. Mm -hmm. like. And uh, it's just a great ace round hole. Um, it's not easy. You know, you have the canopy of the tree. Obviously, you can see it's uphill there. So mm -hmm. it's going to play tight for a sidearm. You got to get it under the trees, but forward. Looks like he's going to just sneak in oh, and almost wow. get it. Wow, <laughs> on the first shot. Great ace round, which is so cool because you can't even see the basket from uh -huh. the tee, really. Uh -huh. And then it's also, you could throw this... Uh, this putter turnover shot here. Mm -hmm. Also a very good run at it. These guys have done this before. Absolutely. <laughs> These guys are weekly leaguers. <laughs> they, they've played here a round or two. Every once in a while you'll see the crazy spike hyzer, but it's not typically. Oh good man, I can imagine you yeah. have to have a pretty decent win to do something yeah. like this. Typically, it's somebody who isn't comfortable forehanding or throwing the turnover. Yeah, and Brandon let it dump out a little bit, but it's actually pin high, so it's yeah. not. It wasn't a bad shot at all. Definitely right there in putting range. And Mike, who seems to only throw sidearms, <laughs> but it seems to be working pretty well for Absolutely. him. Absolutely, <laughs> leaving it a little outside, but uh, definitely in putting range. Mr. Frisbee throwing sidearm. I would think for sure he'd be throwing something backhand right at it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of caught the top little, of that hill a little too soon. A little low, yeah. It looked like he had a good angle on it. Just left it a little bit. Ooh, man. Decent speed on the bid there. Just a little left. Bang. Mike's nice making a nice party. For Mike. There's that family oh. thing going on in the background. Yeah, the yeah, these are the people that were kind of walking with us for a little bit. Yeah, I can't tell you how many uh, frisbees I've handed out to kids out here in the That's park. Awesome. I love it. I yeah, I mean, I, as much as possible. I like doing the same thing. As mm -hmm. somebody comes up and is kind of asking questions, they don't really know much about it. You know, we've all got extra frisbee sets for sure. So it's, that's the cool thing. It's like you should definitely take that opportunity to, to kind of, you know, like we say, grow the sport. And, you know, if it's something as simple as giving one of your discs that you like, you haven't thrown in months, or that Absolutely. you don't think you will, or you don't like it, or whatever, you know, just to get somebody started, and the next thing you know, they might go to the store and buy yeah. a few more or something. Hey, one out of the ten, or one out of a hundred, I don't care. You yeah. Know, as long as somebody, you know, gets into it, I'm happy about it. Exactly. So, uh, three birdies, two pars. And moving on to hole seven, which is... Uh, Original hole 13. Correct. So there's a, this is going to be out in a triangle of OB, right? Basically an island shot? Yeah. Great. So yes. what's key here is you're going to throw a really good drive to land, hopefully by that short placement that you just flew by. And the basket's going to be out here in this triangle that you're seeing now. Yeah, and I love the look of this shot off the tee. It's such a cool... Yeah, very picturesque. 
This park has a lot of mature trees and it's very well maintained, like I had said before. It's just a nice park to practice in. Yeah. You're not really gonna lose plastic or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, unless we do the weird water hazards mm -hmm. or whatever like we were making. But for the most part, the yeah. way the course plays doesn't Absolutely. play around a lot of water. Yeah. Pretty friendly. Yeah, this is actually one of the tougher par threes on the course. Yeah. Wow, Typically, he was going yeah. all the way for it. He, he hit that tree. It looked like he was going to drive the green, absolutely. <laughs> um, typically, I would just lay this one up and then play over the cycle. It looks like Mike got a little carried away and let one go a little early, but he's in good position. Yeah, it's definitely still a good spot. Brandon putting a nice pool, a little hyzer. Ooh, catches some tree on the way through. But, you know, as long as yeah. you're anywhere on that tree line, it's, for the most part, just a nice unobstructed view. As long as you can sit it inside that triangle, you don't want to yeah. miss that and go B. Really, I think anybody's happy with par on this hole. It's a very tough three. Yeah. It's like a par three and a half. <clears throat> Pretty much. <laughs> One of those tweeners. Yeah. It's in the wheelhouse if you want to go for it, but it's really risky to go for it. Yeah. Looks like Brandon's going for a putter up chat. Ooh, leaves it a little wide and catches Man, the tree. I think he kind of grip locked that, it looked like. He, okay. I don't think he meant to throw it that wide. Okay. Tom with another beautiful yeah, upshot that. on the round. That was a great upshot. Yeah, his upshots really are on point today. Great shot, Mike, Mike with a solid upshot too. That was very smooth. Mike does the very smooth jump up putts. Neil with a run at it. Wow, Ooh. that was a great run. Leaves it just a little short, but a good bid. Brandon with his third shot. He's going to have to settle for a bogey, it looks like. Yeah, unfortunate break catching two trees there. Tom looks like he's not happy with that. He knew that. out of his hand that wasn't happening. <laughs> Absolutely. Looks like he was trying to run it and wasn't happy with that. Everybody tapping in there, cleaning it up. <laughs> Mike acting like there's defense. Maybe someday they'll sport. develop yeah. a sort of defensive strategy for just golf. So Brandon Carton a bogey, everybody else getting the par there. Yep. Which is nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And part. now we are on to hole eight, which is hole 14. Absolutely. This is going to be in the straight position back in the trees, mm -hmm. if I do recall. Yeah, so this one's kind of tough. You know, you, you get your play up to the tree limb. Do you want to set yourself up near this bush anywhere around there but not in it, which is easy to do, it seemed like. Uh -huh. And then the basket's kind of tucked in here inside the trees with a bit of a death putt and the yeah. slope that's prone to some rollaways. Yeah, very fast green. Probably the quickest on the course. Looks like Tom's going to go sidearm and turn it over a little hard. Okay, yeah, just... And he's kind of far left, which could be a tough upshot just because, you know, you're going to be hyzering down that hill if you if you attack it too hard. Yeah. This is another one of the tough par threes on the course, uh, mainly because of the green yeah. being so well protected and, and tough. Tom with a great shot there, a great drive, should be in really good position. I believe that's an FD3 that Mike goes throwing there. Wow, and he's yeah. cranking that thing over. Crushed it. Good position on the yeah. top of the hill. Yeah, like I said, anywhere near that bush yeah. kind of puts you in a position mm -hmm. to drop it under the basket and take your yeah, par. Absolutely. Good, good three on this hole any day. There you go, Neil. Neil getting one up and over. Yeah. Nice flex. Yeah. You can stay out of that bush. It's dangerous. Oh. Right in the heart of it. Look at that. It hasn't even hit the ground yet. Still flying. Still flying. <laughs> Some say to this day. Goodness. Tough break there. Look like a good drive. Just didn't quite clear the bush. I'm not sure what Brandon's been throwing that red disc. It's a DD. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on Brandon's But I can't bag. read the stamp on it. Yeah. I'm not sure the, what driver that might be. If I had to be. guess, it'd be an enforcer. Okay. Potentially a defender. I know it's one of those two, most cool. likely. And so Tom with the, hit that early tree, but if he can get that thing to sit. Ooh, like you were talking the fast green. See. Okay, there it is. Caught in that tree. Nice. So that's... He at least caught something to give him a, a decent putt. Michael putting wizard here. 
Oh, look at that. How did he get it to sit so well? No idea. That was a great shot. Had some Velcro. It was like he had Velcro on his disc. Absolutely. All right. Let's see if Neil can get this thing to sit. Nice up shot by Neil. Not bad at all. Catch any one of those steps and roll at any time. Yeah, imagine. All right. So here we got Brandon. Same thing. Everyone's just hoping these things will sit right. Oh, trickling away a little bit, but still right there for the putt. I imagine you get some pretty nasty rollaways if you if you get some bad luck in there. Yeah, the worst is when you roll behind the bush and you have no <laughs> opportunity to save yourself. <laughs> oh, oh great my putt! Gosh, look at this. Earned the birdie. Putt. Beautiful. No is. doubter on the pole. <laughs> great Dead center. Great putt there, Tom. Oh yeah. That is great too. I imagine that doesn't happen too often on this hole. Like how he jogged away to show a little enthusiasm on the course. I, <laughs> I have a hard time standing still when I make a good birdie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to jog it out. Yep. Nice part up, for Brandon. Yep. Absolutely. The roll didn't hurt him there. Nope. Mike and Neil going to clean up their pars and yep. move on to the last hole here. Looks like Neil's fighting the hill there with the tree, <laughs> <laughs> using the tree for balance. Yep. Well, got Neil. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, and now look, if we see as far as the scores are concerned, Neil and Tom are now tied since Tom hit that big putt. So we got one hole left wow. to decide this thing. Gonna come down to original hole 17. Yeah, so talk us through this hole. This one's not easy in the long position. Yeah, so this is probably one of the better, I think, uh, played holes on the course as far as golf goes. Uh, it de it uh, demands a great drive and then a good upshot because as you can see there that the hill's on a slant. So what's crucial is getting out of the tunnel and getting into a nice flat spot and then getting your upshot to land by the basket and not trickle away down that hill. Yeah, yeah. And you see our, our new friend Boogie that we got to hang out yes, with. Sir. He's awesome. He was there putting on that whenever we were doing the fly throughs. Known as Boogie Blue in St. Louis. He throws nothing but blue discs. Yep. That's definitely a glow katana. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. We've confirmed. Yes. Looks like he turned it over a little much. And if you accidentally come over a little bit, you'll see <sighs> you'll land in that yeah. big tree. Absolutely. You'll land in that island of, of uh, trees there. Not a good place to be. Oof, a little too much hyzer. Looks like Tom might have overcorrected from the other Tom and gone a little too much hyzer on that. <laughs> but at least he's not in a tree if yes, there's any consolation should, there. He still should have a shot at getting up and down from there for sure. Mike going to go with a big rip. Turns it over a little hard. <sighs> Looks like that's probably going to be in Also the... fighting those that island of trees there in the middle. Yep. And so Neil, he knows that Tom is likely going to have his second shot out of the tree. Yeah. Looks like so he's, he's just wanting to get a three here. Yeah. Nice and easy. Stay clean. Playing it nice and easy. Um, typically, everybody tries to throw out there by the left side. Mm -hmm. Looks for a nice backhand hyzer up to the basket. Yep. You're not contending with anything in the way there. Brandon throwing a nice shot, getting it to turn over. Oh, yeah. That is a great shot. Beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. out there in the open for sure. Great shot there from Brandon. Yeah, everybody on that left side of the fairway is going to have a nice look at this basket, as you can see there. Mm, a little too soon. Leaving it a little left. Get a little roll. Filter. See what happens. Oh, and it's uh, going to sit right behind the tree. It's going to make it case very scenario. difficult <laughs> for his three. Neil looking to just put an up shot close so yeah. he can hopefully get the three. All right. All right. So he has put himself in a good, pretty good position to take the three. Absolutely. And now we're looking be up to Tom here. Tom making the best of where he was. So he's going to still have his chance at a three to tie Neil. It's coming down to the end here. And unfortunately, Brandon also puts it right in that tree. Getting a little roll away. Still going to be a tricky putt, though, because that tree is pretty bushy. Mike flicking a gator. Yeah, that's a great out. From yeah, there. it looks Off like he turned knee. it over. Just enough to be on the edge of the bushes there to get a good out shot. Yep. Tom chipping it up to the basket there. All right, so this is it. He needs to make this to force Neil to make his. 
Oh, oh man. Just a little low. That's tough. Uphill from that far, from about 40, 50 out. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> like a little roll oh, back God. to the basket. It's always nice when that Here happens. we go, Neil, for the win. For the win. Neil, nice. Did it. Dead center. Taking it down. Man, that was a great showing by Absolutely. Neil. I think it was a big momentum swing when he hit that floor hand putt. Definitely, there. and that was early in the round, yeah, too. That was for Eagle. Everyone I mean, giving him his respect, mm, congratulating him. Mike saying he doesn't need chains no to drop chains that right in there. Necessary. That'll count for Bird. <laughs> Looks the same on the scorecard. Yeah, there's no pictures on the scorecards, but somebody once told me. <laughs> Little Brandon with his par. Looks like they had a nice fun time out there at Wilmore. A good group of people there. Yeah, we had a great time with these guys. We had a, a really good showing for everybody that came out, so we definitely appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the weather, nice weather, and just... Good company. It's we always have such a good time with these final nines and just meeting whole new groups of people and all the support we get. This is it's the idea behind it to get more on the ground with with more local a local feel, you know, as opposed to a big tournament. So we like to show off some more courses that don't necessarily get as much attention yeah. and also just clubs in general and the, and the people that that are in these in these areas. So. Yeah, it's also nice to see just you know other players on video too getting out there, different styles, different. Yeah. People. Yeah, we have a good time. So I want to thank Zach for joining me. I want to thank St. Louis Disc Golf Club and uh, guys over at Gateway for uh, putting us up while we were in town. So uh, yeah, we hope to do a lot more of these. Be sure to leave a leave something in the comments letting us know where you'd like to see us uh, next season. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks again, Zach. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll see you guys later.